guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you 10 outfits for the spring and summer i hope this video gives you some inspo and be ready for some very over the top looks enjoy first outfit is this cute white top and short combination and let me just say i think i'm in love like this outfit makes me feel so elegant and feminine and that's exactly what i look for in clothes i'm literally obsessed with the top it's perfect it's from Zara and it's this body style off the shoulder top with these gorgeous balloon sleeves. It's the perfect spring summer top if you're going for this kind of romantic girly aesthetic that is so my style. The shorts are from River Island and I've showed them before here on my channel and I've said it before but they are a summer must have. I love everything about them, the fit, the style, the details, everything. Believe me, you're not gonna regret getting these. <laughs> For accessories, I wanted to add a bit of color to the outfit as both the top and the shorts are white. So I chose to wear this baby pink bag from Kate Spade that you've already seen too if you've been watching my videos. And to go with the bag, I wore these baby pink sandals from Mango. They're from last year, but you can definitely find some similar ones on ASOS. They're my favorite type of shoe to wear during springtime and summertime because I don't really like wearing flats. I always opt for heel sandals because I think they just look more elegant and they make your legs look super long. Overall, I love this outfit. It might be my favorite and I'm definitely going to wear it all the time when the weather gets warmer. second outfit is also in a neutral color palette with this white top and cream mini skirt. Don't worry, there are going to be some pink looks in this video too. This look gives me a lot of summer vibes, like going to a garden party with your friends kind of vibe. And I love the top. It's not what I normally wear but um, because it's quite revealing. But I love how it ties at the front with the two bows and it just looks so cool and cute at the same time. The color gives me a bit of a masculine vibe, but the plunge neckline with the bows is very feminine, so I think it's a good balance between the two. Anyway, I got it from Zara. As the top is cropped, I think it goes very well with the high-waisted miniskirt. Don't even get me started about how gorgeous the embroidery on the skirt is. It's just a work of art. It's also from Zara, but it's last year, so I'll try to find a similar one for you. For accessories, I went for this pink shoulder bag that again added a little bit of color to this look. And to go with the whole summer vibe, I wore these cream lace-up sandals from H&M that I love with all my heart, even though they are a bit impractical. Like I said, I think this look is cool and cute at the same time, definitely on trend and perfect for this summer. The next outfit is definitely more colorful and casual, well, as casual as I get. <laughs> I styled this stunning pink embroidered top with my high-waisted pink and black gingham shorts. If you watch my Zara haul, you know that I'm obsessed with this top. The color is very much on trend right now and these little short puff sleeves are the cutest thing ever. I love everything that has a puff sleeve. And it's embroidered, so basically it takes all the boxes. The shorts I've had for a while now, but I got so much wear out of them because they're so versatile and so beautifully fitted and structured. They also have a little bit of a retro look, which I love, and they just go with so many different tops. To accentuate this pink look even more, I obviously had to go for the baby pink Kate Spade bag again because it just goes so well and actually I like combining different shades of pink. I think it looks very cute. 
And to complete this seagull chic outfit, I wore my favorite cream lace-up boots. For me, this is the idea of a perfect spring sun look that is cute, stylish, easy to wear and that I will feel comfortable in. This look is so simple yet so stunning and dreamy. I only got this dress recently and I already know that I'm gonna wear it to death this spring summer because it's simply perfect. It has all the lovely details that I look for in my white summer dresses, just has this beautiful feminine neckline with the little tie at the front, the cute puff sleeves, the way that it's fitted around the waist. The bottom of the dress is an H-shaped skirt, so when you spin around it moves so gorgeously. Basically this dress is my dream come true and I love it so much. You wouldn't believe that it's actually from Shein, but I got it on Vinted, which is a website where you can buy secondhand clothes, very similar to Depop or Poshmark. Anyway, it's giving me this garden fairy vibes from a fairy tale. If you like cottagecore, you'll definitely love it this dress. It's perfect for a picnic so that's why I decided to pair it with my straw bag. I think they go so well together. And to finish off the look I chose to wear these brown sliders from New Look to make it a bit more casual. These are basically the only flat shoes I like to wear during spring summer. Altogether this outfit is very cute and girly and it just makes me want to go on a vacation where it would be actually warm enough to wear this outside. Outfit number 5 is more of a casual and wearable look but still girly. This is something I'd wear to run errands, to college or just to go for a walk. It's a pink t-shirt I've had for ages and I love it because it's not too fancy but it still has that feminine touch with the frills on the sleeves. It gives me very much uh, like a ballerina of duty kind of vibe which I'm obsessed with. The skirt is my new favorite pleated tennis skirt I got this year from ASOS. Tennis skirts are a very big trend this year and this one is definitely worth checking out but it's very short so you have to be cautious about that. But it fits me very nicely at the waist and I love the pattern. It goes very nicely with the pink t-shirt because it has a little bit of pink in itself. I paired it with my pink shoulder bag because it's almost the exact same color as the shirt and for shoes I chose the cream lace up sandals to dress it up even more. Overall I think this is a very cute look that I would wear on everyday basis. Let's go back to the fancy outfits with this very dressy look. I pair this dreamy cream blouse from River Island that I got recently with my frollo mini skirt from Topshop that I got last year. The blouse has the most beautiful details and it's very sophisticated. It obviously has balloon sleeves and embroidery all over it. I could honestly talk about it the whole day but it's simply divine and I would definitely recommend getting it because pieces like this are hard to find in the high street shops. 
The skirt isn't any less fancy, it has these cute frills all around the bottom and the floral pattern is so pretty. I don't even mind that there is a lot of green in it because it still looks gorgeous, but sadly it is from last year. To complete this very over the top outfit, I put on my white sandals that are very fancy with this big bow on them, but they are my favorite shoes ever. I also added a pink shoulder bag again, as you can see, it's very versatile. Everything about this outfit is very me. It's what I love to wear the most and what I feel the most comfortable in. Anybody who knows me well would agree that I actually dress like this very often, not necessarily for an occasion. This outfit is very feminine and delicate, the pink floral mini dress is so my style, I've had it for a while now and I wear it every spring summer because it's so lovely. I love how it ties in that to waist and it gives you a very nice shape. You can also do a little bow in the back. The pattern is so beautiful, it reminds me a bit of cherry blossom trees which I love and it's very similar shape to the white cottage coral dress and the skirt moves so nicely when you spin around. I paired it with my mango straw bag and added my baby pink sandals that are also from mango to dress it up a little bit. I think this look would be perfect to wear for a date or for a picnic with your friends. It's easy to wear, not too over the top, but you'll still look very stylish and put together. This next outfit is another neutral color palette look with these white shorts, my new lace top from Zara and my favorite cream cardigan from Mango. This look is definitely more suitable for warm weather. I'd wear this out for a party or maybe if I would go out for drinks with my friends. At first I couldn't decide if the top isn't too much but the more I looked at it, the more I began to love it. It's such a unique lace detail crop top and I don't own anything like it. It reminds me a lot of a corset because um, it, of the shape that it gives me but it's still quite see-through so I added my cream cardigan to feel a little more secure and I just think that they're the perfect match because the cardigan makes the look a bit more casual as the top is very dressy. The shorts are from last year and I wore them all the time. They're just a classic wardrobe staple. I added my everyday tote bag from Ted Baker because it goes very nicely with all the other colors. And again, it's very versatile and classic. For shoes, I decided to go for my lace-up boots again because they just complete this look so well and they're also very comfortable to walk in. Overall, this look is something a bit more out there, but I really like it and I can't wait to wear it. Outfit number 9 is once again very over the top but I'm obsessed with it. It might be one of my favorites too. This baby pink blouse from Rip Island is everything. It's such a statement piece and I love all the gorgeous details, especially this big pizza fan color with the frills all around it that gives it a very feminine touch. Also all these lovely pearl buttons that are just the cutest and I couldn't not not mention these stunning sleeves that are just perfect. I love how they come in at the wrist. The mini skirt is from Zerft and it's such 
a nice versatile piece to have in your wardrobe. It's actually full leather and I love all the beautiful pleats and the color goes so well with pink. To make the look even more fancy, I added my baby pink bag to go with the blouse and my fancy white bow heels to get that lift. This outfit is definitely very statement, very fancy and very pink, but I almost feel like a modern day princess wearing this. It's just so beautiful and I'm gonna wear it all the time and not gonna care what anyone thinks. The last outfit is a lot more casual than the previous one and it's almost like a holiday in Italy kind of look. Anyway, I paired my basic white crop top from Topshop with the stunning cream embroidered high-waisted shorts from H&M. They complement each other so well and I even experimented a little bit and used my pink scarf as a belt. I think it adds a bit of color to the look and it looks quite cool. Anyway, the crop top is very basic, I got it last summer, but it's that piece you reach for a lot because it's first style and easy to wear. The shorts are very summery, like I said, I'd wear them on a holiday or on a hot day in summer. They're honestly so stunning and they look much more expensive than they were. They almost give me a Zimmerman designer vibe. To complete the look, I added my Ted Baker tote bag and my brown new look sliders. I think this look is much more relaxed but still chic and put together. So guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next Wednesday with another video. Bye bye!